Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a really quick contour slash highlight video for you guys. Yes, I'm going to be doing a little bit of my highlight technique that I like to personally use. There's some amazing makeup artists that do some amazing techniques and trust me there are so many that you can't even imagine like I didn't even know there were so many. But this is one of those contour techniques that I have personalized for my own face um, because as I have mentioned in the title of the video that I do have a round face, at least I think I do, and when I sort of contour um, specifically on on my skin or when I contour using these techniques on my face, I really feel like I can see a big difference when I'm in front of the camera or when I'm taking pictures. Um, so yeah, this is basically just a really quick and easy contour, specifically for somebody who has um, more of a round face, someone who has similar face structure like myself. And I'm also going to add a little bit of a bonus for highlighting, which I will share with you guys when I am doing the demo. So yeah, um, if you guys want to see my quick and easy contour slash highlighting um, technique, then please continue watching. So I did go ahead and zoom you guys in. Um, I did do my foundation and I also did my eye makeup earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the, um, the contour and the highlight technique. So I have my foundation on. I haven't done anything else, no bronzer or anything. I'm also going to do a little bit of highlighting um, today for you guys. Just so you guys can see um, how you can sort of highlight depending on what kind of shape you have. There are different ways to highlight. Um, you can highlight with a concealer. You can highlight with a highlighter. Um, there's, you can also highlight with a lighter concealer. There's so many different amazing techniques that you guys can use. And to contour and highlight, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matte Sticks. Um, I have the shade Mocha and the other shade Bamboo. So Mocha is basically going to be the, um, the contouring side of it. These are really, really nice. They blend so nicely, very easily in fact. Um, so if you're not somebody who's very used to contouring, I suggest you get the Fenty Beauty Sticks because they're really easy and they're very, very creamy. Um, so basically, a lot of people I know for sure like to contour using where they start the contour right here on their hairline. You see where the sort of like where the end of the hairline is right here and they go kind of in a circle like this. I've seen a lot of um, influencers, I've seen a lot of amazing makeup artists that do that and I think that works for somebody who has a little bit more of um, when their cheekbone is not as high and they sort of want to lift them a little bit more. I personally have tried it on myself and I didn't really like how it looked on camera. So yeah, I personally don't really like to do that. So I like to draw kind of like a straight through right here and I don't like to take it all the way here. I like to take it right about mid length. I know there's a lot of people who take it only till here. I like to take it right about mid length right here. So it's really gonna be sort of like a little bit past um, the bottom of your cheekbone right here. It's literally in the same parallel if you guys can see. So if you guys can see, I'm just gonna go like this and I just go straight out like this. Literally, that's what I do. Just straight out and right till here. And I'm gonna do the other side as well. And you wanna make sure that you match both sides. So I'm kinda gonna make sure that look on both sides because sometimes it can get really difficult um, when you're trying to match the sides. But once you get it, it's really easy. So that goes straight. And now on the nose, I'm gonna take the same stick and I'm gonna just, I'm starting right here, not really at the bridge of my nose, but I'm actually starting it a little bit below the starting of my nose. So it's gonna start right mid length because I don't like it to be too thin here because I know I have like already a lot of thinness right here. So what I like to do is literally start it in the middle and I do the same thing on the other side. I know a lot of people like to contour the the tip of their nose. I don't really like to do it, but if you're one of those and you feel like your the tip of your nose is a little extra or you don't like how it looks on camera especially, I definitely suggest for you to just add a little of that 
um, shadow or the contour right there on the tip of the nose um, and it really sort of helps in not accentuating your tip so I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that do have a round face and feel like it's too round or it looks too round in cameras I'm sure there's someone out there that feels the same so I'm gonna show you guys right here I'm gonna literally put the contour on my jawline right here and I'm gonna take it it's gonna be literally right below the chin so if you can see it's not even on the chin it's slightly below it right where the where the like the cut of your neck and your chin is and I'm gonna put it right here too that's it and now I'm taking this brush from Real Techniques to blend in my contour. This is one of those really good contour brushes because it's really stiff and you always want to use a brush that is really stiff because when you blend it, it'll stay in one spot as opposed to, you know, sort of getting messed up everywhere and you do not want your contour to blend all over. That's like the worst nightmare, for me at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out my contour and it's really easy when you use these kinds of brushes. Um, it's literally going to just stay in that one spot and it's not gonna get messy. And what I like to do is contour up and then I like to go flick it up like this. Towards the hairline, I like to flick it up. You never wanna go down like this because that's gonna just blend in right here and it's gonna look really bad. So you never want to do that. You want to just go straight and then upwards. That's literally the way you should blend your contour. And now for the nose, I am not going to be using the same brush. I'm using a little bit of a thinner brush and it's obviously kind of like a concealer brush. A lot of people use this as a concealer. I like to use this kind of fluffy, thick brush for my nose contour. So there are all different kinds of brushes that are available for the nose contour, but I like to use something that is thick and fluffy like this, um, but obviously much smaller than this one because I use this one for the face, so you guys can see the difference. You don't want to use a big one for your nose because um, it will really mess up your contour. It'll like go everywhere and you won't want that. So I'm using this one and I'm literally just going to start going up, up and down motions like this and you can see that it's blending out the nose. Before I could feel like my face was looking a little bit round, you can see like I'm literally going to tilt my head a little bit this way and you can see how precise the jawline looks. Literally that is what you want to achieve because that's what's going to sort of chisel out your cheeks as well as your jawline and yeah. So that is the perfect way to hide any extra, if you have a double chin or any of the extra that you have right here, this is the best way to sort of eliminate that. I mean, of course, without doing any surgical procedure. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use a concealer and I'm also gonna highlight a little bit to show you guys how I like to conceal and highlight just underneath the eyes. Um, and I'm just gonna sort of blend that in with our contour. So I'm taking the Wet n Wild concealer. Um, this is a really good everyday sort of concealer. I really like it. And I'm just gonna use that underneath the eyes to conceal. And this is how I like to sort of conceal. So you want to take your concealer all the way right here. I like to do that because it kind of gives you the illusion of your eyes. It kind of expands a little bit. I know it sounds really weird, but honestly, I've noticed a big difference when I put my concealer all the way out here. It kind of accentuates the eyes a little bit more and it looks really nice. I really like that. And I like to take it only right here. I don't like to take it all the way here. I like to take it right about here. And I also like to put a little bit right here, right below, I'm putting it right below where I put my contour, just right there. And you guys can see how it's going to look more defined. This is just to define your contour, 
So I'm literally doing it just to show you guys how if you really want to have a crisp contour, then this works really, really well. And taking my beauty blender, I'm going to blend out my concealer right here underneath the eyes. set my concealer, I'm going to be using the one heck of a block from Soap and Glory. This is a translucent powder, this is just in front of me, so I'm just using that. And I'm literally just going to use it underneath the eyes, in all the places that I sort of concealed. And I'm going to just slightly put it on the nose like that. And to highlight, I'm going to be using the Estee Edit Flash Illuminator. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I like to highlight personally because I obviously do have a smaller forehead um, and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. So the normal places that everyone likes to highlight is on the high points of your cheeks right here and on the bridge of the nose to sort of give you that extra pop. But I'm going to add another step which I sort of do because I do have a smaller forehead so I like to do this because I feel like it kind of accentuates the forehead. Um, I would not suggest this for somebody who has a bigger or a medium sized forehead. But if you do have a similar size forehead like me, then I say definitely do this because it looks really pretty on pictures. Um, so I'm literally gonna just highlight the normal parts that I like to highlight, which is right here on the high points. That's the normal highlighting part that I like to do. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. This is a really pretty highlight. And then I'm going to use my fingers. I like to always use my fingers to do this. And I'm going to just take it and put it on the bridge of my nose. Just for that extra pop right here. And the third step that I'm adding is to highlight on my forehead. So I'm just literally going to take the highlight and just put it right here. And this is basically going to give the illusion of a little bit of a bigger forehead, which I know it sounds really funny, but it actually works. On camera, it looks really pretty. So right above your um, eyebrow right here, that's where I like to sort of focus on. Right here on where my hairline is and between my eyebrows right here, that's where I like to sort of add that extra pop. And to add a little bit of blush and a little bit of color into the cheeks, I'm just gonna take the Naked Flush palette and take this shade right here and I'm just gonna take that. This is a really pigmented shade, so I'm gonna take a little amount. That's pretty. It's a very subtle pink, but I like it. And to conclude this look, I'm gonna be using the liquid lipstick from NYX, and it's in the shade French Made. So guys, this basically concludes this video. Um, I really hope that you guys like my quick and easy contour technique. Honestly, um, it is something that you have to sort of adapt as far as your own face structure. So once you start doing it, once you start doing it more regularly, honestly, you will adapt to it and it'll become so much more easier. Um, so you always want to look into what type of um, jawline you have, what type of shape you have on your face, because that is the way you would contour based on that so i really hope this was helpful for all of you guys out there and if you guys did like this video then of course don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, to see more videos and i will see you guys all in the next one bye